I upload four times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. I do mostly synthetic wave related content here. We are multicultural. We are inclusive. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, you want my little doll, baby. Hi, 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 hi, hi. Hi, doll, baby. How are you? So happy that you are here. Okay, so today it's a collab because you know what I mean? Collabs, 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 collabs. And today I'm collabing with someone that I have collabed with in the past, and it is still looking good, 58. This is her channel here. If you haven't checked her out, you need to. You absolutely need to. I absolutely love her channel. She doesn't just do, she does a lot of wig reviews, but she does like a lot of like just real life sort of aging with grace and beauty and embracing it and just living how you want to live at whatever age. And I love her content. So if you haven't checked her out, please go ahead because she's stunning first of all but she really has a lot of insight practical knowledge and it's just something that i think everybody could benefit if you're watching this then you should go and see her okay and we have collabed once in the past so for this collab what i wanted to do was i wanted to sort of challenge some wig miss and some of the wig miss that i hear especially because um i'm about to be 45 this year so some of the wig miss that i hear is that as we age uh, we can't wear color and there's certain styles we can't wear and i just think that's silly she's going to tackle the wigs and wigs age and style part of it and i'm going to tackle the wig age and color so i have five wigs here that i'm going to try on for you and talk about how you can have color in your life without um no matter you know what your age blah 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 but how you can bring in color in different color ways that may be more approachable so that's what I want to talk about. So we're going to do that. Let me get the first wig on and then we will come back and talk. Okay. Okay. okay so the first Vila wig. Vila is Nicole and this is in the color 2, 2T gray. Okay. I do not know how readily available this wig is, but for what we're doing, that's not necessarily super important. I did scoop her up from Ms. Barn for $14.85. There is not a standalone review on her, <clears throat> but... This one, I'm saying, okay, I picked this one because this is a gray wig. I know gray is very popular, but I also know that some people, you know, sometimes as we age, we actually don't want to put a gray wig so on. I love that this is sort of more of a richer sort of charcoal gray. It has the darker roots. So I feel like you can embrace color with gray, but it doesn't have to be something that is sort of on that lighter side or the silver side you can do this sort of rich gray color and i think that this is a way to embrace gray as a color embrace color in general without going too far out of the box so that is my first tip in terms of color and wigs and age let's get to the next okay so this girl here is an oldie but goodie. You can still find her. This is Free Trust Equals Shanice. And I have her in the color S-O-D-S-O-P-D-K-P-U, which is uh, Sombre Dark Purple. Uh, this is uh, an oldie but goodie wig. I don't have a standalone review on her. Even though this wig has been discontinued, you can find her. This one actually came from a beauty supply store. You can see the little sticker here. They still have them and you can still find them online. This is the second way that I think you can introduce color um, even it, no matter what age. Is if you, especially if you have naturally dark hair, is to choose a wig that has your natural dark rooting and that sombre is in, which is like sort of filters in to a dark purple. I feel like dark purple is a close enough color to black where you can sort of add it in. It's not, you know, shouting, you know, a loud, loud color. It actually just gives you a little something and is really, really beautiful. And it really can complement dark hair and not be horribly like... I don't want to say noticeable because I feel like you can wear color if you want, but this is for people who, you know, maybe weren't sure how they could do it. Um, even I have another wig that is in this same color that is like a short bob that I reviewed and I'll put that up. So even in a shorter style, it looks so cute. And it's a little something uh, playing with color, but it's not so outside of the box where you would maybe feel uncomfortable. So 
really leaning into these dark purples, especially more on the ends, is what I would suggest. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so my next suggestion is red or red toned highlights. So this is Miss Chelsea, and I have Chelsea in mixed cr crimson. I crimson. Crimson. I have a bunch of videos on Chelsea. I absolutely love this wig. This wig is still available. It is being discontinued, but it is still available, and I absolutely love it. Check out my videos on that. I scooped this one up from Ms. Barn for $22.50. But the reason I think... So this one has just the dark base, and it actually has sort of more of the uh, more burgundy type base but if you see there's just these fiery red highlights i think this is a great way to do color because you know the red is, is is a little bit subtle you know it's not too punchy but you have the highlights being an actual red just gives it a little something it's like when you just spray a little bit of color into your hair it gives it a little bit of something but it is not it's in a different it's adding color in a different way you know these really punchy red highlights can be very gorgeous and very flattering without being just overall fire engine red. So I think this is a great way to go is to do uh, wigs that have sort of colored highlighting alongside a, you know, neutral type base. So that is another suggestion. So we have two more. This is one of my favorite wigs. This is Motown Tress's Rachel. And I have Rachel in the color camo green. I got her from Shop Hair Wigs for $25.50. There's a review up on her. There's a bunch of videos, color comparisons, uh, because I really love this wig. This is a color, I'm gonna actually do a whole highlight video on this color because I have several wigs in this color. I think this is a great way to do color because it's so, yes, is there a green in there? Sure, but it's so subtle with this sort of medium brown base that it gives you color in a way that isn't even like overly noticeable. And you definitely want to watch my color highlight video on this because this this color is so stunning. So if you want something, um, and because it's like sort of overall, it's not jumping out in any way. I just think this is a, an amazing way, especially if you have, you know, brown hair, you tend to wear brown wigs. This is a really great way to introduce color no matter what age. I have a review on this color on two other styles that are shorter. One is curly, one is straight. Definitely think this is an amazing color in general, but especially if you're someone who is a little bit older and you feel like maybe you shouldn't be delving too much into color, this is a perfect, perfect, this is my actual perfect, perfect color um, to do that with, I think is this one right here. And we have one more. Oh! Okay, and last but not least, we have Jenna Collection Sophie, and this is part of her Color Me line. I have a bunch of, uh, I've been talking about this for a while. Their hair stop and shop had a huge sale on these. Um, so I have a bunch of these that I've reviewed and that are coming up, but this is Sophie, and this is in the color Boliage Copper. I got this from Shop Hair Waves for $20.95. I'm not sure how readily available this particular wig is, but other wigs in this color are. So this is my last sort of adding color to your life suggestion is to do sort of that boliage. So this is sort of a, you know, dark number two root into sort of, you know, getting into sort of browns. And then the color is very concentrated just on the bottom. And since it's copper, again, it's not really very far from more of a natural um, hair color. And it's just concentrated really on the bottom. So like, say you were gonna wear this wig, you know, up in a ponytail, you would just have like little tips that would be colored, um, but the main part of the wig is still more of a natural color. And so that's definitely another way to introduce color into your life, no matter what your age is. So yeah, so that is what I have for you. I'm very excited to see what Still Looking Good 58 says about styles. So if you haven't gone over to her video, go ahead and go over to her video because I'm going over there too. And if you're from her channel, welcome. Thank you for coming here. Hope you want to stay around. And overall, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you have, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.